You remember that hyperactive kid from your class in elementary school? He grew up and became a Koji main. I mean, look at him using all of his energy to stand in one place. Yep, that's the guy. What's that? You actually want to get coaching like that guy? You think he's cool? Well, don't worry, Chief. I got you. Here's five incredibly annoying steps on your way from level one Koji to level 10 ish? Broji, let's go. Start by throwing away your sword. This has nothing to do with the fact that I lost all of my ability to play with the sword and everything to do with the superior annoyingness and brokenness of the bow. Literally every single move works off stage and it has so much range and so many moves that cover in close that it makes me, uh, you know, want to commit jump off stage. But enough about its oddly repetitive gameplay, let's get on with the bow tutorial. Step 1. Side sig. Your opponent right on in top front of you? Don't worry, just order a single supercharged arrow shot right at him, guaranteed to add a lot of damage. The side facing one is generally better for murderizing though. Step 2. What do you do with people that actually try to get in close? You smack them with a board. Yeah, you heard that correctly folks. All you gotta do when they get close is activate the latest in hardwood technology and sweep them with the board. Well, not the actual board. Look closer. You see the invisible parts yet? Boji Downsig, murdering a guitar main near you. Well, I think that that's the, all that there is to this character. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to. Oh, wait, yeah. I'm, I'm forgetting something, right? It's pretty important, I, but I can't remember what it is. What is it? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Axe, but worse. I'll explain that one later. Probably. Let's get to it. Downsig is great on sword. Super useful for everything but actually trying to hit your opponent. You need to recover horizontally? Boom. Downsig. Dodge your opponent's item throw? Boom. Downsig. Want to look cool? Boom. Downsig. Just don't actually try to aim for them. It's like, it's the most obvious thing ever. If you're intentionally doing it, you're playing Koji wrong. Side take. Only real galaxy brains get a lot of mileage out of this one. It's simple but effective. And there's one more, Sword and Sig. It's basically Bow D Sig with a different animation. It hits close, it's fast, it has decent force, everything. It just makes it really annoying to deal with. Now, remember, absolutely none of this works without Koji main energy. The mystical force that all Koji main seem to tap into, it's like the speed force. It allows them to appear hyperactive while basically staying in the same place. They're always moving in every single direction and going everywhere at once and dashing everywhere. Well, that's it. I made it through a video about Koji without mentioning Proji's Oh, wait, I just did it, didn't I? Ugh. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you think that you had some friends that would enjoy it too, don't hesitate to share it with them. And if you want to make sure that you get the next amazing installment, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Again, Thank you for watching.